there are two broad categories of inflammatory triggers. One is an injury and the other is a foreign entity that needs to be removed. Hi, in my previous video, I explained that fundamentally the immune system is responsible for all inflammation, but something has to trigger the immune system to create inflammation. So what are the things that trigger the immune system to generate inflammation? There are two broad categories of inflammatory triggers. One is an injury and the other is a foreign entity that needs to be removed. Now, injuries are relatively straightforward, right? If you sprain your ankle, it isn't instantly inflamed, but damage has occurred and your immune system responds to that damage. And it takes a few minutes, right? It may take 30 minutes or more for the immune system to respond to the damage and cause the inflammation that occurs around your sprained ankle. Now, over time, that swelling gets worse, right? The same thing happens if you hit your noggin, right? Boom. It takes a while for the goose egg to develop on your head. It's not instantaneous the moment you bang into something. At first it's sore, but then over the few minutes you get that inflammatory response. So that's important to keep in mind is that the inflammation comes in response to something else that's happening. Now, the other category that I said, right? First we had an injury. The second category that triggers inflammation is a foreign entity. So there are some good examples of this. You know, some are things like bacteria, right? Others are viruses. When you get exposed to these, your immune system identifies them as the enemy and responds with inflammation in an attempt to destroy and remove them. And the same thing happens with other things that aren't bacteria or viruses, like for example, asbestos. Um, another example is toxins, right? If you get exposed to certain things, these are foreign entities that your immune system is trying to protect you from. And anything that's foreign to your body may trigger an inflammatory response. So this is just one very good reason to avoid things like processed foods and preservatives and artificial colors and pesticides and herbicides and any other so-called man-made chemicals, right? Now, what happens, right, because you're triggering inflammation and even chronic inflammation with those things, which is about the worst thing that you could do for your long-term health. Because remember, inflammation is at the root of almost all chronic disease. Now, here's the even trickier part. What if your immune system recognizes a food as a foreign entity? What if something that you're being told, you know, a food, that, being told that it's healthy for you and that it's culturally accepted as healthy for everyone and it's even vital to your health, what if that is triggering your immune system to create inflammation? Then what happens? Then every time you eat it, your immune system is fighting the food and you are generating an inflammatory response. And that is not healthy. Now in my next video in this series, I'll talk about what happens when your immune system fights the food that you eat.